Welcome in, beautiful travelers. My name is Maria Indigo Earth, here to do a reading for Aquarius. Air sign, Aquarius. Hello, hello. You are the inventors. You are ruled by the planet, planet, planets, planets, Saturn and Uranus. Saturn is a planet of responsibility and Uranus is a planet of freedom. Talk about that duality, right? Your duality actually is to be original and yet shocking. You are here to be free. So you're bringing us all into the, the realm of freedom. You are the leaders. Your mantra is, I know, you know. Welcome in cross watchers. You may be connected to or in a relationship with an Aquarius and therefore you are here to find out what's going on with your person. So some of this message might be for you. Um, you and I are working together. Our energies are working together to create the highest message possible for you, for your soul growth and your evolution. For you individually as well as for the, for the collective. So please use your discernment. Use your inner knowing. You are building your inner intuition. So take what resonates and leave the rest behind. I will have an extended at the end of this video. I will dive deeper into the message. Any zodiac signs that show up that are screaming, I will look at those in the extended as well, the elements of those signs. And I just ask that if you like um, the content being shared, please like and subscribe to help the channel grow so that more people can hear the message as well that need it. Much appreciated. Glad to have you here. So Aquarius, your overall theme, Eight of Cups. On a spiritual journey and Ten of Cups. Moving away from things that no longer serve you. Moving into your bliss. Your emotional bliss. It's a great way to start off a reading. Hello. <laughs> right? So we are moving into the new moon in Pisces on the 13th. So this is a good time for you to set your intentions. You are co-creating with the universe. New moons are all about releasing and letting go, co-creating, setting out your new intentions and focusing on what you wish to manifest. So use those new moon energies if you would like. Help us speed up the process of your, your Ten of Cups bliss coming in. So... Aquarius, I just ask you or invite you to clear your mind, take a deep breath, enter your heart space, and allow the messages that need to be heard to come through for you. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. Highest atone for those watching this message, please, and for the collective. Thank you. Here we go. Your overall energy is strength, inner resolve, stepping into your power. Um, this is freedom. This is getting in alignment. Your situation is a queen of wands, getting inspired, something creative, some kind of energy is coming through you that's getting you, giving you passion and desire. Your opportunity is the page of cups. Boy, all you guys have had this today. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Love's coming in. An offer of love is coming in. Or it could be an apology. What the universe is working on with you is King of Swords. Releasing that intuitive process, that passion, that desire, that, that vital energy. Energy that surrounds you that you might not be aware of. Ace of Cups. Another love offer. New love beginning. Ace is all about new beginnings and love. All the air signs have had this today. So this is great with different decks. With different decks. So go air signs. Um, energies moving in. Eight of Wands. Communication. Fast moving energy. Energies that are fading away. The lovers. So this could be an old relationship or a past relationship that's just no longer working anymore. Moving on towards what does work for you. How you're showing up in the situation. Four of coins. Um, you could be hanging on. 
This could be finding stability. This could be finding balance. This could be um, holding out. What's right in front of you? Nine of Swords. That's some pain, some fear coming in. Feeling sad about a situation, some remorse, not happy. Uh, your hopes and fears, a chariot moving forward. So you may be coming out of a situation where you were very stable or were stable. And now, like, whenever you start something new, especially when it's in a relationship, it can be very scary. But there is a lot of drive and passion here because you got the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords. That's a power couple. And your outcome? Temperance. Learning how to balance those energies. Those energies of fear, of letting go and releasing maybe some old stuff. This could just be emotional old stuff too, so you don't bring it into the new relationship. Um, and it's hard to work through that. Let's get one more with that. Seven of Cups. Yeah, because there could be some confusion. You need to make a decision. Could be some confusion. Might not sure what to do. Not sure where to go. So let's get some clarity for you, Aquarius, because this is beautiful energy coming in. But, you know, maybe change is just a little bit um, frightening for you. So let's see what this Queen of Wands is all about. This is your situation. But I feel like this energy is you, that there is a lot of passion. Maybe you, you're, that passion's kind of scaring you a little bit. The star healing. Maybe allowing that passion and that drive to come through. Allowing the Divine Feminine to fly off the handle for a while. We all have feminine energies in us. Yeah, we have the Empress. Empress, she's a great manifester. And we have the Four of Cups. So you may have been resistance. You may be resistance to love in your life right now. Um, you may be holding back. But the, the, the desire is definitely there for you to move forward. Um, there's some healing that needs to take place. There's some healing maybe that needs to take place around maybe some of your fears about romance, about relationships. Um, and we got the Empress. Sometimes the Empress can be kind of needy. If she doesn't have the Emperor, she's kind of off balance. She's like, does more of the nurturing, um, and more of the, um, she does most of the emotional work in the relationship, basically. <clears throat> she can be very needy and dependent as well. Sometimes she uses her sexuality <clears throat> as a way to bring people in or to, to take control of a situation or to win somebody over. Um, and we have the Four of Cups, resistance. That's somewhat of a resistance to love. So just put the pieces of the puzzle together as I'm telling you the meaning of the cards. But you have, and you have strength under the page of um, cups. You got strength under there. So this might take some mustering up when this offer comes into you. Could be an apology as well. But let's see what this page of cups is all about for Aquarius. Because <clears throat> you're moving towards your happiness. Maybe you need to allow yourself that happiness. Seven of Swords. So sometimes the Seven of Swords is somebody who's wearing a mask. This could be you. This could be the other person. It could also be about deception. This could have been something that happened in your past in the area of love, that you were in a uh, relationship that caused deception. Um, yeah, because we've got the Three of Swords, pain. Some sort of deception caused some pain. And this is the Knight of Wands. This is that fast-moving, sweep-you-off-your-feet kind of energy the one that comes in and they're just full of passion full of vitality tells you everything you want to hear and they're out as fast as they came in <clears throat> so there may be some fears around that that need healing because you definitely have passion here okay or you could be using your passion in the sense of like the knight of wands and thinking that that's love and offering that to people. So balance the scales, whatever that looks like for you in your life. You know better. You know yourself better than anybody else. But when the Empress comes in without the Emperor 
and she's got the star next to her. This is about healing some neediness. And you've got the Queen of Wands and the King of King of Wands. Well, that's a King of Swords, sorry. King of Swords. Clarity, truth, understanding, justice. That's what the universe is working on with you. Kind of looks like the wands to me. But the King of Swords. So working through some things, getting very clear, understanding, um, communication. Some sort of justice. So we've got the Knight of Cups. We've got the Tower. One more, please. And we got the Sun. So some kind of clarity is coming through. Some kind of clarity, um, some kind of truth is coming through about love. Okay that um, maybe you need to release or let go of belief systems or ideas about it to give you, this could be illusions as well. Some could be illusions. So you might have some illusions about how love works or what love is. It may come from like a sexuality kind of standpoint that needs to be healed. Um, and this tower is about dismantling some of those paradigms and those beliefs. This could be you. This could be somebody that you had a relationship with. Um, but you got Ace of Cups down here coming in. So to me, this seems like these are like ideas and belief systems that need to be that need to be healed so that you're not put, bringing that forward. You may have been hurt in the past by somebody who was very charismatic. Um... They were more about lust than they were about anything else. But the universe is working on you to see this clearly so that you will be able to see this clearly to release these illusions, let them go around how you see love. Because it's asking you to like, the, the king of swords is like the judge and the jury, like Nothing gets past the King of Swords. Like, that's brutal honesty. Real brutal honesty. So getting really brut brutally honest with yourself. What was your part in the situation? How did, you know, how did you play into it as well? Um, and look at, you know, how, why that is, why that's attracted to you. Whether you're doing it or someone you know is doing it. Because love definitely wants to come in here. Yeah, Queen of Swords, ask good questions. And we got the devil. So there's definitely some sort of attachments here that you have. Because with the Eight of Wands, you have communication and you have the devil. And you have the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords is like no bullshit. Like she cuts through the shit. She does not, nothing goes past her. This is air energy, Gemini coming in right there. So <clears throat> there's definitely some attachments. This could be codependency. This could be trauma bonding. Um, look that up if you don't know what it is. This could be trauma fusion, attachments to like um, narcissistic partners. People who are very self-centered, egotistical. Um, there could be some sort of attraction to that. So it's really the communication which is coming in is really about looking at your attachment or maybe the attachment that love has had in your life in the past um, and getting very asking good questions and getting really clear about it. This seems to be more about your healing than it does seem to be about who's coming in. So let's get some clarity on this four of coins. Yeah, this is being stuck. And the lovers, this could be like how you've looked at love your whole life, how you look at relationships. Because love is a way of life. It's not just isolated to relationships. It's how you treat your co-workers. It's how you treat humanity. It's how you treat your, um, you know, if you have children, it's how you treat your relatives. It's how you treat your friends. Like it comes from in here. It, do is not, it doesn't come from outside of ourselves, right? It comes from here. And that's how we attract it in. So this four of coins is telling me you're hanging on to something that's toxic, that's not good, that causes a lot of grief and a lot of pain and a lot of fear and a lot of anxiety, keeps you up at night. 
but you're moving forward towards healing. You might not know how to do it yet because you got the temperance card in your outcome and you got the seven of cups. You may be looking for answers. Um, and that's good because you're seeking. So with the four of cups, yeah, you're hanging on to baggage. We have the three of cups. That could be about third party relationships. We have the ten of wands. That is about um, holding on to emotional baggage and we have the queen of cups somebody who is very needy very emotional um she kind of lets her emotions take over more of her rational thinking or looking at the situation as it is she's kind of like your um illusionist she can be sometimes in this situation and three of cups are about third party situations you may be attracted to individuals who you know have other people on the side um and this causes a lot of pain and heartbreak ten of wands is like he's just crushed so and third parties don't necessarily have to be other people they can be but they don't necessarily have to be this could be you know people that might be addicted to drugs alcohol um work um, partying all the time, being with their friends more than they are with you, anything that distracts from the relationship and from self, from really doing your inner work. So the universe is trying to help you see some of this real clearly in attachments. Sometimes it's lust. People can be addicted to lust. People can be addicted to the high of the beginning of the relationship until things settle down and then you have to like reality sets in and you have to do the day-to-day -day work so take a look at some of those things let's see what the nine of swords is yep two of cups this is about relationships three of wands so definitely about third party stuff attachments to people that might not be available are emotionally unavailable or you could be emotionally unavailable feel free to swap around the characters as i'm going through this you know what fits for you and what fits for um, the relationship. <clears throat> so because we have a lot of fire energy coming in here, um, I'm going to look at fire energy in the extended. Aries, Leo, Sag. One more, please. Get the three of wands. But you're moving forward. You're definitely moving forward. And you're moving away from things that no longer serve you. This is your theme, and you are going into healing. Temperance is healing. See how she has one foot in the water and one foot on land. So healing her emotions, um, and then how she presents that into the world. And you might not know what to do yet. It's confusion. You might not know how to get there. You might be seeking. Um, you might have to expand your horizons a little bit. You might have to find other options. Yeah, Six of Swords. Moving away. Could be moving away. Could be running away. But this is moving away from toxic relationships. Relationships that leave you feeling like this. <laughs> Left alone by yourself. Having to scramble. See how she's scrambling up the ladder trying to like find her way. Feeling lost. You're moving away from that because you got the Six of Swords here. In what's right in front of you and then your hopes and fears you have the chariot which is also moving forward so it may be scary you may be scared you may not know what to do where to go how to like navigate this why this keeps happening this may be repeated um, you could be the one being the Don Juan or the one that's you know lustful or it could be you're attracting those type of people into your life but love wants to come in here you got the ace of cups as energies that surround you that you might not be aware of. Fresh love wants to come in here. You've just got to work through a lot of this baggage and fear and understanding why you keep attracting this stuff into your life. So in the extended, I'm going to go more into the um, outcome. I am also going to look at this Ace of Cups. I'm going to look at fire energy and then actions and advice for you. Um, for those of you not going on with me, I'm going to give you a reading from the Sacred Creator's Oracle deck to send you on your way for the week, Aquarius. So 
This is for Aquarius, please. A message for Aquarius. A reading that just came through. Collaboration of souls. It's a lover's card. It is. It's this, the one that's fading away. Could be your ideas of what the what love relationships are supposed to look like. Collaboration of souls. Your essential meaning, sacred partnerships, lovers, a collaboration of like-minded and like-hearted people, support networks, finding your people, mutual benefits, love, and connection. Your self-care messages, too, doing too much, being overly dependent, difficulty trusting others, taking them at face value, problems with partners. Your greatest asset is the soul connection you make with others and those that you make and foster at this time will bring fruitful changes in your life. Which sacred unions are you pursuing? Long-term commitments and strategic partnerships are based on trust, love, respect, and an alignment of values. And it's time to actively call collaborate partners into your life. Mentors, clients, friends, lovers. Whom do you intend to dance with? You have a choice and this mutually beneficial union will be merging of two or more interconnected souls who are versatile kindred spirits. By clearly defining who you are, what you desire, and what you need, you will help them recognize you as you set out to find one another. Know what you want and what you do not, and seek an open and honest exchange with others. When your actions are a truthful reflection of the relationships you expect to find, the perfect people will show up at exactly the right time. So that's what I have for you, Aquarius. I hope this helped. Until next time, I wish you peace. Bye-bye.